Recently, with the introduction of its newest end performance car, the Kona N, a Korean automaker has showcased its presence in all aspects of motorsports and high-performance segments highlighted by the success of the entry-level sports cars such as Veloster N, and the European i30N and i20N. The high-performance sub-brand of Hyundai has also shed light on its future by featuring RM20E, the first electric car project undertaken by the former M division chief and the current N sub-brand boss Albert Bierman. The 810 horsepower RM20E is the latest iteration of Hyundai's racing midship project that started back in 2012, to develop and hone its high-performance prowess and apply the technology to racing cars as well as road cars. The first product of the RM was RM14, which was based on the first-generation Veloster that was supposed to be powered by a 300-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter engine that was mounted midship, altered from that of Veloster's front-engine front-wheel drive configuration. That initial design has evolved for the next two years, and bore improved off-springs RM15 and RM16, and through the development, RM models underwent extensive road testing to validate newly developed technologies, observe their effects on performance, and improve them for subsequent application on the company's newly formed and high-performance sub-brand. The RM platform is a versatile engineering testbed, allowing effective evaluation of various powertrains and performance levels, all on normal roads and environments, in the words of Mr. Bierman during an interview pertaining to the project. And the result of that testing culminated in the fantastic Veloster N, which employed a dialed-down version of the 300-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter engine from the RM15 and RM16. That 275-horsepower Veloster N soon became the fastest front-wheel drive car in the world when the 8-speed DCT was added to the formula, to beat out its arch-nemesis Honda Civic Type R with an incredible 0-60 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.8 seconds. But ARM project did not stop there. As soon as the fruit of their first labor was released in 2018 with Veloster N, it followed it up with RM19. Co-developed alongside the title-winning i30N TCR and Veloster N TCR racing cars, the incredible 390-horsepower midship machine that could achieve 0-60 to 60 in less than 4 seconds, proved to the public that the RM project was still very much alive even after a couple of years of hiatus, and that Hyundai still clearly had a vision of a production midship sports car in the near future. Then shortly afterward in 2020, the spy images of elusive MR23T begin to surface. The MR23T, as the name suggests uses a bored-out version of the 2.0-liter engine to alleviate the extremely peaky nature of the nearly 400-horsepower 2.0-liter engine, while maintaining a similar level of output making it more user-friendly for the streets. Furthermore, it's rumored to be aided by an electric motor to help with the low-end torque. Hybridization would also be necessary to make the car sustainable beyond 2030, when pure internal combustion cars will be banned in most of the free worlds. Interestingly, that 2.3-liter displacement, which is an odd-sounding number for Hyundai, was not a coincidence as at around the same time, the former Ford RS chief, Tyrone Johnson took over Albert Bierman's position as the head of vehicle test and development at the Hyundai Motor Europe test and development facility in Germany when Bierman was promoted to a president's position and became the global head of research and development and moved to Korea. So, a legendary race engineer working up magic with a displacement number that he is so familiar from his experience in developing marvelous Ford Focus RS doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Especially when it was learned that the RM production car had its sight on Porsche Cayman S as its primary competitor. This meant that the visuals of the RM19 and MR23T were just facades and the actual production car would look very different and would take on a more traditional sports coupe or even roadster appearance as represented in this traditional midship sports coupe rendering, as featured on the Korean car blog. As well, the notion of the traditional roadster was also very well portrayed in an April Fool's Day release of a Hyundai N Roadster in 2019. Although designed by an independent designer, we feel that it's a perfect embodiment of the spirit of the RM project, and we wouldn't be surprised if the production model did resemble this beautiful design by a Korean designer Yunjun Park, when and if it comes out. However, there could be some major stumbling blocks before the fruition of the 400-horsepower Hyundai midship sports car. The first is the timing. Presently, Hyundai is at a crossroads where they are in the process of completely revamping their product strategy to focus on the production of electric vehicles. And this has been reaffirmed in the latest vision of the N sub-brands when the company confirmed that its focus will be on the development of electric high-performance in form of the eGMP-based battery electric vehicles, or hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, as confirmed by Hyundai's head of the high-performance vehicle and motorsport division, Thomas Schemera, who was also from BMW M division in charge of the US market while presenting the Kona N. 
The first electric project by Team N will most certainly be the high-performance version of the newly released eGMP-based Ionic 5. Drawing from the company's experience in developing the 810 horsepower RM20e electric supercar, which is, in turn, an offshoot of the 670 horsepower ETCR racing car, Hyundai will turn a humble crossover EV into a supercar beating family car, with nearly 600 horsepower from the dual motors driving all four wheels. So, as much as we are excited about the Ionic 5N, that could potentially outrun its platform sharing 577 horsepower Kia EV6 GT, which has 0 to 60 time of 3.5 seconds, we are still praying for a legitimate sports coupe that could potentially replace the current Veloster, even if it's going to be an electric sports car and not a 400 horsepower midship gasoline powered car. However, there are more problems. Although the current Veloster is due to be replaced in the year 2024 or 2025 and there are still a few years left, the likelihood of another sports coupe on the horizon seems gloomy at the moment. This is because of the general decline in the popularity of coupes and sports cars in lieu of the insurgence of crossovers. Veloster, in particular, has borne the brunt of the market decline as the sales have dropped sharply in recent years. Since its introduction in 2011 in the US, Veloster managed to maintain 20 to 30,000 units of sales until 2017 when it declined to a one-third of the sales at around 10 to 12,000 units, ending up with only 7,591 units in the pandemic 2020. This drastic decline in popularity has forced Hyundai to streamline the Veloster lineup, discontinuing the base and the obscure turbo model, only keeping alive the N model, in addition to dropping the standard 250 horsepower trim. In an attempt to increase the sales, Hyundai improved the product competitiveness by giving it the newly developed 8-speed DCT, which made the coupe the fastest FWD car in the world, as well as offering a host of other additions such as the high-performance sport seats and all the go-fast bits from the previous performance trim such as the electronic limited slip differential, quicker steering, larger brakes and 19-inch alloys making them as standard features. However, all the improvement did little in changing things around in terms of sales, despite the fact that it was received extremely well by the press and the general public. Through April of 2021, the total units sold amount only up to about 1,000 units. At this rate, Veloster would set a new record for low sales by achieving only half of the previous year's sales. This obviously does not bode well for those inside Hyundai that are trying to make the new Cooper reality. Whether it be a 400 horsepower internal combustion midship sports car or a 600 horsepower electric supercar. But it seems it may be a little early to throw in the towel yet, as even as spring of 2021, a sample of MR23T was spotted in Korea, with a much more aggressively modified version of the RM19 still seen being tested in Nürburgring, Germany. Also, the electric RM project is still alive and kicking as the Veloster NTCR is kicking off its inaugural season in pure ETCR series from June 2021. Furthermore, even if it's not going to be under the Veloster nameplate, a halo car seems definitely be in the works as the president of Hyundai Motorsports, Mr. Gyu Hon Choi, said when asked about the future of the high-performance cars, a halo car remains in our plans. It won't come for a while yet but we know we have to make one. We are now looking at some alternative powertrains and some different options on what kinds of vehicle we might deliver and when. With that being said, as we still have a few more years before the end of the life cycle for the current Veloster, we cross our fingers and hope that the sales of the Veloster would recover to its former glory, so that the Veloster will not end its illustrious career only after two generations. So, based on the information presented in our video, what kind of a future would you like to see for Veloster? 400 horsepower plus midship internal combustion hybrid sports car based on RM19, 600 horsepower electric sports car based on RM20e, or turned into an entirely new halo car. Wake up, baby, all the stars are shining bright. Yeah, we should stay up. So that we can look at them all night Just keep holding me, don't let me go Every 